Seven years of fighting Trojans had the Greek alliance wearing thin. Agamemnon's troops in fighting seems to be their fatal flaw. When Achilles' prima donna childishly insults his leader, it's no wonder that the Trojans seven years have held their ground. Hector the Trojans' number one man offers to fight a Grecian champion one on one, probably Achilles' king. Agamemnon knows what to do, picks goofy Ajax for the fight. Achilles' jealous plan is working back in Troy, King Priam and his men debate if they should fight or fold. Rhetoric, long winded prophets, nothing but the actors' roles. Meanwhile, Cressida and Troilus finally make a joint appearance, pledging love. They waste no time, immediately hop in bed. Cressida's dad, a traitor to Troy, plots with the Greeks to trade his daughter for a Trojan prisoner. Troilus watches in shock as Cressida leaves, then later sees her making love to Diomedes. Heartbroken, he's off with Hector, fighting after Hector and Ajax fought to a draw. Hector and Achilles meet, and ultimately Hector slain. Play ends, but the war continues, makes you wonder why the play was named after two minor roles instead of Hector and Achilles, or perhaps King Priam, even Agamemnon. Oh, well, Will knows, yes, Will knows best, knows best.